Um, so something that has worked really well for me uh, for pricing my work higher and for um, getting credibility um, is to do partnerships. So I did a part a brand partnership with a watch company for the Jayhawks. I displayed the pieces in their shop and then in doing so I had access and they sold watches for like I said like eight thousand dollars. Doing that gave me access to their whole um, group family of um, fans and buyers so and customers is a word I was looking for so partnerships like allowed me to then like um, market myself to all of their sort of parallel uh, customer base all people who if they can afford to buy an eight thousand dollar watch they can probably afford to buy an eight thousand dollar painting the watches were like a one of a kind really like the story behind them was really like handcrafted like it was a great business parallel for me and so that lifted me up to his level by him endorsing me um, so I really recommend that because especially when you're getting starting out um, finding brands to partner with because then they can kind of lift you and then from there then you have all this like built-in credibility that then allows you to get other things um, so then I just recently partnered with another um, a jewelry store who donated some diamonds for the Wonder Woman painting I did. And that was again, like people go there to buy their big diamonds and their customer base then um, associates me with diamonds. And that's like a really positive brand uh, partnership. Um, so brand partnerships are really great. Um, and pricing your work at a higher level um, is pricing it kind of in like the luxury space. And so something that has really been helpful for me is just looking at other luxury brands and luxury experiences. So, you know, why does somebody buy a designer bag instead of something at Target? They buy it because of the brand and, um, you know, because of like the experience of going to buy it and you get this like special bag that it comes in and you get treated really differently when you're there versus like going to Target. So I have worked to, and I'm still working on this and um, changing this all the time, but like, how do you craft an experience that matches that price point? Um, you know, if you're having a show, how do you, um, you know, like we had a recent opening for Wonder Woman and um, we had a harpist come and play and we had really nice food and we had good champagne and we rented glasses and like, there's all these like teeny tiny little parts of the experience that come to create like what people perceive your brand to be. And you know, your pricing is a lot about perception. So if your prices are higher, people are gonna assume that the quality is better, that you are a bigger deal. I mean, for lack of a better term, um, that your work is more important or that people respect it more. Um, you know, not all buying public are, are specific art collectors. This is a very small amount of people who collect art. And there's this big group of people who have walls <laughs> and money and appreciate a great story. And like, if you're going for this collector base, you know, it's like this big, then you're probably going like the gallery route and kind of the traditional way. But there's all these people out there who love art and love color and love whatever subject it is that you're painting. And when your work is um, priced at a level that not only makes you able to like be comfortable and make art, it also is perceived as being better. So, um, so pricing it, you know, you just have to back up that pricing, like I said, with some of that experiential stuff. And then also, um, you know, if you need, like again, as you're getting started, like you have to, you have to have some credibility in order to do that. So if you're just getting started and you don't have any, partnerships are one way to get that. Um, PR is another way, and I think like um, something everybody should do is put together a press kit for themselves and then pitch it to any any publication you want to be in. Uh, the idea that PR works by people like coming and like you know discovering you on the internet is like so so false. <laughs> All PR is pitched, and the better pitch you give and the more complete a pitch you give, the likelier you are to be placed. So I. I never knew this was the case until recently and so I want everyone to know this that like 
um, like TV spots, um, being in magazines, being in the newspaper, so much of that is pitched by professional PR people and they just like bring them a story. And so it's, it's like it's already done for them. And it's not like the reporter like out, you know, I mean, some of it is, but it's not like them out like looking for artists to, you know, uh, feature. It's about like, oh, well, I got this press release on my desk about this really interesting artist doing this cool thing. So a press kit is like, put some images together in a Dropbox or whatever, um, some digital images, um, put together a bio of yourself with a photo and your story, and then write a press release. Um, and you can Google how to do this, like Google a template, but you need to pitch a story angle. So just like you as an artist doing your thing every day is not that interesting, but doing something that's like, um, like pricing the Jayhawks at $25,000, we knew would make, um, would make news. So that's why, that was another reason why we did that. Um, and like putting diamonds in a painting, like that, that is newsworthy. So, um, it doesn't have to be those two things. Those are like crazy things. It can be like um, getting really interested in something unique about your community and then pulling that into your work. And then that is something that people can get around locally. And local news, getting those, like getting press and adding that to your website and then blasting that out. Again, it creates this perception that like you're an artist going places. You're um, someone who is doing things that are interesting and important and people are more like, intrigued by you and sort of like your um that you are like doing something that's exciting and that then they buy a piece of your art and they're like yeah this artist was like on the news talking about this piece they did and isn't that cool and it just kind of builds that all of that romance around your work for them so um that's a really uh yeah i could talk all day about this i'll stop <laughs>